Good afternoon. My name is Tom Brinsonoff, Certified Master Mechanic out of Reading, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how car alarms work. Now, they have several different sensors in them, all hooked to a central box, a brain as you will. Um, a lot of times you'll see sensors underneath the hood, um, a little push button sensor either on or off as you open the hood. Uh, a thief opens your hood, it opens that circuit up and it's going to trip your alarm. Um, as for your, your doors, if they break into the side of your, your, the side of your vehicle, they probably open a door or, or whatnot. They're usually wired into the dome light switch. So you know any door you might open, the light comes on, it'll trigger the alarm. Um, the other, other sensors that might be used is motion sensors. Um, if somebody's shaking your vehicle or if it's incorrectly towed, um, if you got it parked alongside the road and somebody illegally tows it, picks it up, tries to steal it, the alarm will go off um, because they have obviously a motion sensor within, they're usually crystals. Um, outside of that, there's really not much to an alarm. Um, like I said, they run on a few sensors, one on the hood. They usually have one on the interior for the door light switch. They'll have a motion sensor um, if somebody tries to move your vehicle. Um, and most of the times, they'll have what they call a start or interrupt. If somebody does break into the vehicle, if it's not uh, key coded or they don't have the password or whatnot, the remote, um, it disables uh, the whole ignition system so the vehicle cannot start. Um, but that's basically what it comes down to with the vehicle alarm and how they work. 